Taurus, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you're interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband, he's over at 7D Tarot. His information is also going to be down below for you. So I feel like right now you're in a time where you're contemplating what's going on in your existence and wondering, are you in, are you where you need to be? Or is there change that's necessary right now? And change is definitely necessary. And I feel like the universe is exact, you're experiencing or you're picking up the change that's coming and it's becoming very evident in your current physical reality. So the best thing you can do right now is just recognize that change is coming. It's not gonna feel comfortable because as we know with change comes uncertainty. So the best thing you can do is just stay true to what it is that you are looking to manifest in your life. So if you're looking for health, you stay true to the fact that you eat the right foods and you keep up with your exercise even if you don't want to we never all do but you keep up with it anyway right same with your spiritual growth you keep up with your meditations you keep up with your journaling you keep up with it right keep up with evolution learn stuff right learn stuff about your spiritual self go check out Lao Tzu go check out um, Dr. Wayne Dyer you know go go and check out some um, go check out the Stoats philosophies you know what I mean just keep evolving keep learning because evolution learning this is going to be necessary right now as you grow and as you move forward universe is saying it's not the time to think it's the time to feel and feeling was when we go back home so the universe is saying go back home come back home actually is what they're saying your angels are saying come home Taurus and it's important to know that uh, your angels live in your heart home lives in your heart this is not our home it's not your home right the house you live in the things you have this is very temporary you're gonna leave this all behind when you have your death experience realistically right if you look at it all your clothes all your possessions all your things not taking it with you you know what I mean money you know, really, if it, when you look at the grand scheme of things, you know, these things, they don't matter, right? What matters is the connections in our lives. What matters is the evolution we have. What matters is the, the love that we feel. And if we're at a place in our life where we're not feeling and experiencing that, something's got to change. And that change is being implemented as we speak. So the best thing you can do, again, is to not be thinking too much. Because thinking at this time isn't going to serve you. Because thinking right now in this uncertain time is just going to promote an illusion of what's actually happening. It's going to come, your thinking is going to promote a perspective that isn't true, right? So start to get out of your thinking mind and go into your feeling state. Because I feel like you're overthinking this new opportunity or a new opportunity or, or, or a place you'd like to see your life to go. And it's time for you to let it go. Let go of the energy. Again, Lao Tzu came up earlier. Go and check Lao Tzu's philosophies on letting go because it will greatly help you on your journey here. Because I can see here that it is time for you to walk away, but walk away from what is no longer serving you. And when we're overthinking about it, we're, we're, we're too attached to the situation. So we're unable to identify what it is we're meant to walk away from. The more you go back home at this time, Taurus, the better you're going to feel. Dive into some videos of sound healing, get into a meditative state, put your headphones in dark room and just feel the music, hear this music, right? Because this will take you out of your head and it will bring you back into your heart. And again, that's where we go back home. And it is time to go back home so that you can reflect and so that you can implement the changes that are necessary because big changes are happening right and you can feel them they're coming they're coming but these changes are going to implement new inspiration for you so again nothing you need to worry about only you want to let this happen organically let this process happen organically don't cling on force make just find peace meditate as much as you can Go to work, come home, stop thinking, right? In the morning time, meditate before you go into work. Stay true to your routine. This is where you want to be disciplined. This is where you want to have things that you just do at, uh, uh, with a, a more of an autopilot kind of motion. You know, you need to make, your, have, make sure you have a good lunch. You need to make sure you exercise. You need to make sure you meditate, right? Just get this in. Be methodical. Just keep doing it. Even if it doesn't feel right, it won't feel right right now because changes are happening. So nothing will feel right. And then you'll second guess and you will um, fall off course course of what it is that you're used to doing that makes you feel good stay true to what makes you feel good in this time of change because in particular that's what's going to help get this time of change moving faster because at least then you're honoring your needs and you're doing what's necessary because right now 
it's not time to attach to your outer world because things are changing and the illusions that you're experiencing, the, the, the fear and the uncertainty and the pain that you're going through, it's not it, it's temporary. It's not forever. It's just because the universe has to implement change and you're experiencing that change, right? Again, in order to see change, we have to be that change. And um, we don't want to, when we're in the process of changing, you know, we don't want to try to force it or make it happen. Just let these changes occur because you're being guided towards a beautiful time of celebration, community, co-working, respect. There's just going to be a lovely collaboration that's waiting for you here. Collaboration, maybe with a new team member, business partner, um, business, but it's going to amount to success and achievements. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. And it is going to be a time to celebrate. There's going to be a lot of foundation. There's going to be a lot of success. There's going to be a lot of happiness. And this is the change that you're being guided towards. So just simply let this process unfold and know that there's no reason to overthink. There's no reason to, to, um, to be hesitant. There's no reason to worry. All you need to know is that you're being guided towards a better time. Let go of the need to make this happen because when we do that, we tend to put too much time into our work endeavors. When we are, for instance, creating, whenever we're needing or we feel like we need money, there's too much of a desire. It's too much of an attached desire to it. And as a matter of fact, we will push that money away. We'll push away what's, what's, what we're meant to do. So, and it will create a lot of, um, create a uh, more of a negative space for you because whenever we are um, creating from a place of need, we tend to overcompensate our actions. Like we tend to do more than we need to, which leaves us feeling irritable, tired, impatient. And that reflects in our relationships, right? Our relationships really suffer from that, particularly the loved ones that are near us. Um, so really be mindful of that. It's not about uh, quantity. It's about quality of energy and attention we're putting into something, right? Because as the law of attraction always reminds us that the, where our thoughts go is what generates energy, right? Uh, where awareness goes, energy flows. And so you just want to be mindful about what it is that you are saying yes to in your life because we only have so much energy. So the more you say yes to something in this time and space, you're saying no to something somewhere else. So prioritize your yeses, Taurus. Make sure that they work for you, right? Make your yeses work for you. Make your decisions work for you. Every choice you make is an investment, right? And they pay dividends. So make sure that your choices are going to benefit your growth and they're not going to self-sabotage your growth. And if the choices you're making and the thoughts you're thinking are taking from you, then it might just be that time to walk away and let it go and ask yourself, it's time to start anew. And that will come through deep introspection. So again, put on some sound healing, put on a video where you meditate, get out of your body or get, excuse me, get out of your head, into your body, into your heart, right? Go back home because that way you're going to be able to reconnect with the magic that's here for you. And if you're not feeling the magic, it's only because you're disconnected because you've been thinking, trying to make your journey happen. Don't worry. You're not out here alone. You know, you're not here by yourself. You have your team, you have your home, you have your loved ones, your friends, your soul family on the other side of the veil, all waiting for you to connect with them. They're right there. They live right here. And it's very easy for us with the more we do utilize this connection and go back home, the easier it is for us to reach down and connect to them because they you always are going to have the answers and they lie right here but we do have to initiate that connection in order for us to be able to receive that guidance now here we have energy work coming forward so it just might be time to balance your chakras right chakras are a little out of balance maybe run some energy through them right perhaps even learn reiki consider learning reiki so that you learn how to work with your own energy right because energy work is everything we're all energy everything's energy the more we learn to work with our energy the easier life becomes and right now it feels like the energy is just a little off balance and that will happen when we when we you know go through changes and we're when in hectic traumatic situations you know things will frighten us things will startle us our creativity will go down right so just be mindful of that and know that um, with a little bit of energy um, work and a little energy healing we will feel so much better now here is a message from your angels Taurus it says Cupid so it says we send great waves of love into your heart and mind awakening your love for life itself your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects so that's beautiful accepting love into your heart accepting that 
you desire love, accepting that you want things to change, you want love, you want all this growth, that will generate the energy moving forward and the angels will help bring it into your life. That's just how it works, right? So know that the more that you spend time going home, loving yourself, honoring your needs, you will awaken that love in your heart and inspiration, right? And it's that inspiration and it's that love that truly creates miracles. Miracles grow from love. So the more that we can forgive, accept, we generate love, right? So forgiveness within ourselves, forgiveness for other people. And a lot of the times we go through this experience not realizing that we're harboring um, ill will or we're we're not forgiving, right? We're not forgiving of ourselves. We're, we're judging ourselves. Something happens. You know, we're, we're new on, we're starting a journey and it's like we're judging ourselves for not being good or not being perfect. And it's like, well, when you first learned to ride a bike, were you any good at it? You know what I mean? But we judge ourselves because we hold, uh, you know, we're, we're not forgiving ourselves for something that's happened in the past. So just be mindful of that energy. Forgive accept where you are, accept where others are and love with an open heart. And in return, you will receive that love and abundance that you deserve back. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was like share and subscribe, I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.